Now to present the most promising engineer or scientist with an advanced degree award is Dr. Greg Heislop from the Boeing Company. At Boeing, Greg is Vice President of Research and Development Engineering Operations and Technology. Please welcome Greg Islop. Well, good afternoon. Rather than retrace Marvy's inspiring story, an impressive background which you can read uh, in various materials, I thought I would talk about the time we first met. Almost two years ago, John Tracy told me I need to meet Marvy. And I always remember what I told John after that first meeting. I said, I need 100 more just like her. But that won't be possible because she's very unique. As you can see, Marvy's technical background is outstanding. But what impressed me the most about her was her humility. During that first meeting, I asked her about her ambitions, and she said it was to serve as many people as possible. She often signs her emails, here to serve, and that best describes her leadership style. That is also why I had no hesitation of promoting her into the executive ranks at Boeing this past year. She now serves as the Director of Chemical Technologies, Metals, and Ceramics within Boeing Research and Technology, our core research organization leads a team of over 400 engineers and scientists at our 11 global research centers. Marvy is passionate about providing opportunities for the next generation through STEM education. The most recent example of this was last month when Marvy led a Boeing team to Puerto Rico. They visited schools in remote regions, talked to hundreds of students about engineering and, and coordinated robotics demonstrations, and donated computers to two rural, school, rural schools. Marvy is a worthy recipient of this award, and I'm very proud to present Dr. Marvy Matos. As a child, I dreamed about being a scientist. As a teenager, I discovered um, engineering and the conduits for innovation. As a college student, research became my next frontier. And graduate school was simply transformational for me. I am fortunate for my parents who believed in me and, and traveled wherever I needed to go to help me develop. I'm fortunate for my spouse, a compassionate human and, um, and smart um, human being who supports all of my adventures and who shares parenting in an equal basis, including house cleaning. <laughs> I am lucky to have my daughters who understand what their mom does. I'm fortunate for my mentors who inspire me every day and in this journey, I have learned to surround myself with skeptical optimists. I have learned to jump obstacles and to use every rock thrown to build my next stepping stone. The steps and every transition along the way have not, yet, have not been easy, and yet these experiences have reinforced my Puerto Rican personal drive, being a jibara, which is to serve. Thank you for this honor.